Hi, good morning. This is Kavita Kundra, and this is uh, we are covering here Ignu MSc BFSM uh, Physiology. The chapter is respiration. So now respiratory system respiration it is a process that deals with the act of respiring and breathing. Organ of the respiratory system is nose and nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, small passages, two lungs, and pleura. And you can see the structure here and structure is very important whenever you don't have if you don't have time in examination to attempt that question just draw the structure do it nicely and you will get marks for that nose and nasal cavity nose is the first organ through which we respire everybody knows inhale oxygen we exhale carbon dioxide nose ectus passage from which incoming air passes it warms motions and filter the air the air get moistened by the contact of uh, mo uh, moist mucus and nose act as filter. Nose has how many nostrils? Two nostrils. The air that enters the nostril run into large openings called nasal cavity. And because of the presence of olfactory epithelium, the air gets filtered be before it get going to lungs. So, a uh, question can arise that why it gets filtered? How it gets filtered because of the olfactory epithelium it gets filtered done the pharynx when a person inhale it passes air the pharynx is cone shaped tubular section that extend from mouth and nasal cavity to larynx where it continue with esophagus the pharynx is divided into three parts nasopharynx oropharynx and laryngopharynx the uh, nasopharynx is a part of upper throat that lies behind the nose the two openings of auditory tubes are there on lateral walls that open to middle air it is lined with ciliated epithelium the oropharynx it lies above pharynx esophagus and it continues with mouth extended from below the level of soft palate to level of second surgical cervical vertebra the laryngopharynx, it is the lowest part of pharynx, it extends from oropharynx above and continues at esophagus below from second to sixth vertebra. Both the air and food passes through the pharynx, air is further warmed up and moistened as it passes through pharynx. Then air is further warmed up, moistened, an auditory tube passes between the nasopharynx, middle ear, air passes through these tubes to the middle ear. Larynx, it is a voice box in the neck that plays crucial role in speech and breathing. It contains vocal cord. The larynx is cylindrical grouping of the cartilage. Muscle and soft tissues attached to each other by the ligament. And membrane that contain vocal cords, structure that help to produce sound. And the framework of larynx is made up of thyroid cartilage. The anterior portion felt as Adams. So here you can see the structure. Glucose break down into glycolysis, two ATPs are getting used, glycolysis further uh, converted into pyruvate. If the oxygen is not present, the fermentation will start. If oxygen is there in the system, then Krebs cycle will start, electron uh, transport chain and then it releases 36 ATP. If fermentation is there, then it releases either lactic acid or ethanol. Function, it controls. The air flow during breathing, it ensures the passage of air from pharynx to trachea, protection of airway, air is filtered, moistened and warmed. Production of sound for speech, it ensures the voice production due to presence of vocal cords, it facilitates swallowing of food. Trachea is the windpipe in its continuation of larynx. It is in the front of neck and it is very hard and tough ring around it. It is a tube that extends from oral cavity into the chest where it branches into major bronchial tubes. It is composed of hyaline cartilage joined together by muscle tissue that conveys inhaled air from larynx to bronchi. The outer structure or surface is composed of fibrous tissue, elastic tissue, then close the cartilage. The middle layer is again composed of fibrous tissue lined with alveolar tissue. It contains blood vessel, nerves, lymphatics and the inner lining is composed of ciliated epithelial cell and goblet cell. The goblet cell secrete 
mucus. Functions, it ensures the passage of air from larynx to bronchi. It warms motions and filter the air as the air it passes through the trachea. The bronchi are composed of cartilage. It is lined with ciliated epithelium. Each bronchi is subdivided into numerous and small branches and air passes through them to reach bronchioles. The bronchioles and small air passages, the bronchioles are the smaller branches that connect to alveoli or air sac. The bronchioles have a diameter of about 1 mm. It has no cartilage but only have muscle tissue, fibrous tissue and elastic tissue. The terminal bronchioles divide to form alveolar ducts. They open into alveoli where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide occur. Lungs and pleura. The lungs are spongy organ responsible for respiration delivery of oxygen into bloodstream there are two lungs situated in thoracic cavity they extend from root of the neck to the diaphragm and the diaphragm is dome shaped muscle that works with lung to allow inhale exhale the right lung is divided into superior middle and inferior lobes and the left one has two lobes superior and inferior the bronchioles, alveolar ducts and alveoli constitute the lobules of the lung. These lobules are separated by alveolar elastic tissue. Surrounding the lungs are the two thin membranes such as pleura. And the space between the membrane is called pleural, activity, uh, pleural cavity. And the function is exchange of gases between alveoli and capillary network. Expand to take in air and then contract to expand. Next one, the last one is pleura. It is a membrane surrounding the outer surface of the lung and the inner surface of the chest wall and the diaphragm. The serous membrane that covers the lung and the wall of chest cavity to protect the cushions, the lungs and pleura. Pleura has two layers, parietal and visceral. Parietal lines the chest cage, covers the upper surface of diaphragm. Visceral, formally attached to the lungs, passing into fissures that divide the lungs into lobes. In normal conditions, the parietal and visceral pleura are in contact and there is a pleural cavity between two layers. Space has serous fluid and it prevents friction between two layers. So I hope it is clear. If it is not, then uh, send us the questions and doubts. Please send message if you have any query and we will revert back to you. We have telegram group. Ignu MSC DFSM lecture notes. If you join there, then we can answer more questions and we have uh, meetings online meetings where you can join and ask one-to-one -one questions as well thank you so much we'll see you soon again bye bye take care